Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. Um, in His Steps by Charles Sheldon. Uh, somebody asked me recently, a student at IBC, and said, what books have impacted your life? And so I didn't have a ready list, so I start thinking about it. This is a book I've read several times. I say several, probably three. I think three, at least two, three. I don't think I've read it four. Um, unbelievable book, over 30 million copies sold. And this is where the, a few years ago, you had the WWJD craze, you know, what would Jesus do? It actually was predicated on this book, In His Steps. Now, some people don't like the In His Steps because they think it teaches too much about uh, social justice and helping the poor and the needy. But the basic premise is what happens is a vagrant comes into a church and while people are trying to figure out what to do with the vagrant, the vagrant dies. He's drops dead and they're like, oh man, we could have helped this guy. How could we have helped this guy? And so then the pastor, if I remember correctly, it's been several years since I read the book, but the pastor reads, I'm just reading, it says used from 10 cents. So you can get this book. You can afford this. Um, what would Jesus do? What would Jesus have done? And so then asking a question, what would Jesus do? And so you've got lawyers, you've got housewives, you've got shopkeepers, you got people in several representative stations of life, and they start saying, I'm going to live like Jesus. What would Jesus do in every situation? How would he start every day? How would he treat people? How would he, you know, treat their boss? How would they treat their customers? How would they treat the person on the street? I'm going to do it just the way Jesus would do it. And it revolutionizes a town. Now, a lot of people would say this goes back into New England messianism, that the New England Puritans were still trying to save the world, you know, um, and more in a moral kingdom, a messianic kingdom, instead of by conversion. I didn't get any of that out of that. <laughs> what I got was I need to treat people a lot better and uh, treat them the way Jesus would treat them. It is, to me, it was a life-transforming book. Even if you're not a Christian, I think you could read it and you could see the ideals of what Jesus is all about that uh, Jesus was about love, that it's not his will that any should perish, all should come to repentance, everlasting life, that he created the Garden of Eden, blessings, all animals, no death. You know, people are anti-hunters. Before the fall, there was no hunting because there was no death. Um, in eternity future, you know, blessings, love. This is God's will for us. And still, the world he gave us, full of beauty and love, even though it's fallen. So, and his great love towards us, that when we even despise him, he still loves us and reaches out to us so many times. So, uh, and he pulls, he said, if I be lifted up from the earth, he's dying on a cross. I will draw all men to me. Everybody gets drawn to the message of the cross the love of God. So it was a great book. I would recommend it. So, and it transformed me. I will say that positively. God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus name.